Hello and welcome to Z. In this episode, we are traveling to Jerusalem. Stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon. Let's feel the beauty of Jerusalem together. Jerusalem Jerusalem is a Western Asian city. It is one of the world's oldest towns, located on a plateau in the Judean mountains between the Mediterranean and the Dead Sea, and is regarded sacred by the three major Abrahamic religions, Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. The city lies between Israel and the West Bank, and both Israelis and Palestinians claim Jerusalem as their capital. Israel controls the entire city and keeps its principal governmental institutions there, whilst the Palestinian National Authority and Palestine Liberation Organization envision it eventually being the seat of power for the state of Palestine. Because of this long-running controversy, neither claim is widely accepted on a global scale. Since at least the 3rd millennium BCE, Jerusalem has been a permanent inhabitant. Significant construction efforts began throughout the city in the 9th century BCE, and by the 8th century BCE, Jerusalem had developed into the capital of the Iron Age Kingdom of Judah. The city has been destroyed at least twice, besieged 23 times, seized and reclaimed 44 times, and assaulted 52 times in its history. It was destroyed by Babylonia in 587 to 586 BCE, reconstructed during the Persian Empire, and rose in prominence throughout the Hellenistic period. It was seized by Rome in 63 BCE and destroyed again in 70 CE, following a Jewish rebellion. With the conquest of the Levant in 638 CE, ownership of the city transferred into Muslim hands. Under Suleiman, the magnificent of the Ottoman Empire, the surrounding city walls were restored for the final time in 1538 CE. Today, these walls outline the old city, which has historically been divided into four sections known as the Jewish Quarter, the Armenian Quarter, the Christian Quarter, and the Muslim Quarter since the 19th century, clockwise from the southeast end. The old city was designated a World Heritage Site in 1981 and has been listed on the list of World Heritage in danger since then. Since 1982. Since 1860, Jerusalem has expanded well beyond the walls of the old city. Jerusalem had a population of around 850,000 people in 2015, with approximately 200,000 secular Jewish Israelis, 350,000 Haredi Jews, and 300,000 Palestinian Arabs. In 2016, the city's population was 882,700, with Jews accounting for 536,600, 61%, Muslims accounting for 319,800, 36%, Christians accounting for 15,800, 2%, and unclassified subjects accounting for 10,300, 1%. According to the Hebrew Bible, the Israelite King David took the city from the Jebusites and established it as the capital of the United Kingdom of Israel. Solomon, David's son and heir, later commissioned the construction of the city's first temple. According to modern scholars, Jews separated from the Canaanite peoples and civilization by developing a distinct monolatrous and later monotheistic religion centered on el yahweh these foundational events, which occurred at the turn of the first millennium BCE, took on vital symbolic significance for the Jewish people. The epithet Holy City was most likely applied to Jerusalem in post-exilic periods. The holiness of Jerusalem in Christianity was strengthened by the New Testament story of Jesus' crucifixion and subsequent resurrection there, which was preserved in the Greek translation of the Hebrew Bible that Christians received as the Old Testament. After Mecca and Medina in present-day Saudi Arabia, Jerusalem is the third holiest city in Sunni Islam. This is because it is the first Qibla, standard direction for Muslim prayers, after Mecca. 
According to Islamic history, the Islamic prophet Muhammad performed his night journey to Jerusalem in 621 CE, from which he ascended to heaven and spoke to God. As a result of all of these events, despite its small size, 0.9 square kilometers or 38 square miles, the old city is home to many religiously significant sites, including the Temple Mount, also known as Al-Aqsa or Haram al-Sharif, with the Dome of the Rock, Al-Aqsa Mosque and Western Wall, and the Church of the Holy Sepulchre. The status of Jerusalem is still one of the most contentious topics in the Israeli-Palestinian conflict and peace process. West Jerusalem was taken and later annexed by Israel during the 1948 Arab-Israeli War, while East Jerusalem, including the Old City, was captured and then annexed by Jordan. However, after the 1967 Six-Day War, Israel took East Jerusalem from Jordan, and it was essentially annexed and merged into the other Israeli-held areas of the city, along with additional surrounding territory. The Jerusalem Law of 1980, one of Israel's basic laws, refers to complete and undivided Jerusalem as the country's capital. The Israeli government's institutions, including the Knesset, the Prime Ministers, Beit Agian, and Presidents, Beit Hanasi, Residences, and the Supreme Court, are all located in Jerusalem. While the international community accepts Israel's claim to sovereignty over West Jerusalem, the claim to sovereignty over East Jerusalem is seen as illegal, and East Jerusalem is thus recognized by the UN as Palestinian territory occupied by Israel. History Jerusalem was established as the city of David in 1010 BCE, however there is evidence of habitation dating back to 4500 BCE. That suggests that Jews have lived in Jerusalem continuously for almost 3000 years. The execration texts, written 3800 years ago in Egypt, are credited with the first mention of Jerusalem in the Bible. Jerusalem has been conquered over 40 times, notably by the Persians, Romans, Ottoman Turks, and British Empire. Over the course of its history, more than 100 conflicts have been waged for sovereignty of Jerusalem. The actual date of construction of the first temple is unknown, although best estimates place it in the mid-10th century BCE, requiring 150,000 laborers. The second temple was constructed in the 6th century BCE and stood until 70 CE. The most interesting facts about Jerusalem. 1. Jerusalem is the largest city in Israel. Jerusalem is Israel's capital and the country's largest metropolis. It is a prominent cultural center with over 70 arts institutions spread across nearly 50 square kilometers. Jerusalem has a population of at least 801,000 people. 2. Jerusalem has been conquered 40 times. There have been numerous rivals for the city of Jerusalem, each seeking the city for themselves. It is located in a turbulent region with religious, cultural, commercial, and political disputes. This is a turbulent period in history. In its history, the city has been the site of 16 wars, and it has been destroyed twice. In addition, the city has been besieged 23 times, attacked 52 times, and captured and reclaimed 44 times. Each of the Persians, Romans, Ottoman Turks, and British occupied Jerusalem at some point. There have been numerous rivals for the city of Jerusalem, each seeking the city for themselves. 3. The Mount of Olives in Jerusalem is the world's oldest active burial site. On empty olives, some of the greatest Jewish leaders, prophets, and rabbis are buried. This makes it the world's largest and most important Jewish cemetery. More than 150,000 Jewish graves can be found on the Mount of Olives. Empty Olivet is where Jesus is claimed to have risen to heaven. 
the Garden of Gethsemane, the Russian Orthodox Church of Maria Magdalene, and the Church of All Nations are also located on the mountain. M.T. Olives has been a place of Christian prayer since ancient times and is now a popular pilgrimage destination for Eastern Orthodox, Catholics, and Protestants. Unfortunately, the mountain has also been entangled in a territorial conflict between Israel, Muslim nations, and Palestinian Arabs. It has seen occasional violence, which Jewish mourners and visitors have witnessed. 4. Jerusalem is completely walled. Real estate in Jerusalem is bounded by towering walls. It is a completely walled city. The walls stretch for roughly 2.5 kilometers, are 40 feet tall, and 8 feet thick. A high wall gives the potential for watchtowers. There are 34 watchtowers located along the city walls of Jerusalem. In ancient times, the entire city was encompassed by a high wall for defense. You can enter the city through one of the seven gates. The city of Jerusalem has a distinct appearance as well, according to a municipal legislation that requires all constructions to be clad in Jerusalem stone. This has guaranteed that the city's historical appearance has been preserved. 5. There are about 1,500 public parks and gardens in Jerusalem. The city of Jerusalem takes pride in its greenery, despite its location in a desert. In Jerusalem, there are about 1,500 public parks and gardens. One may witness plants and fauna as well as simply appreciate the greenery. 6. Some of Jerusalem's olive trees are over 800 years old. The olive tree is mentioned in the Bible. Numerous olive trees may be seen in the Garden of Gethsemane, where Jesus is said to have prayed before his crucifixion. It has also been an important part of Jewish and Israeli culture throughout history. What's amazing is that some of these trees are almost 900 years old. The olive tree is a small tree or big shrub with rectangular, pale, silvery green leaves that remain on the tree all year. 7. From Jerusalem, you can view Bethlehem. Because Jerusalem and Bethlehem are two distinct cities, one would anticipate them to be relatively far apart. However, you could actually walk from one to the other. It's less than the 10K you just ran a month ago. However, you won't get a medal for this one. If you do decide to tackle this walk, avoid it during the summer heat and bear in mind that you will have to clear a security crossing. This is all for now. Thank you for being with us.